Morning folks, um, on the workbench today, three more French Napoleonic Generals. Um, I'm going to do three all at the same time because they're basically all the same. Um, we've got um, General of Brigade Campy, General of the Second Corps Foy, and General of the Young Guard, I think the Young Guard Division is Friant. So we've got, uh, I've done two, uh, already done two of them on the dark brown horse. That's my uh, usual brown wash with a marron brown um, stainer or uh, ink. And the uh, free ant horse has just had a, a kind of flesh wash with um, flesh wash, pe flesh colored paint. I've used, what did I use? I used uh, dark flesh as the basic wash all over in a water down and then I put an actual quick army painter quick shade uh, flesh wash on uh, yeah that's where we are with those I'm now going to put my usual light brown on the figures and then start picking out uh, some colors so I'll get on a bit more and then I'll come back and show you what I've done right all all three figures, horses are done now, ready for their next stage. And the riders all had the brown wash on down to the boots. I don't tend to brown wash the boots because I use those to hold with me little pinkies. And it's gonna be black anyway in the main, so. Yeah, next stage I think, there's a lot of gold on the shabracks, a lot of gold on the figures. So I think I'm going with gold. Uh, I'll get all that done. And I think I'll get the red on the shipwrecks as well. Uh, so the horses are well on the way to being finished. Um, no red really on the figures, the odd bit of red, but nothing much. So we shan't worry about the figures. There we go. I'll come back to you when I've got that done. Right, there we go. Uh, that's the gold added. And my three shade red, which is the flat red, vermilion red, and then orange on the shipwrecks. I've just buried them. That one's got a, a girth strap and a uh, the breast strap in red. That one's got a red girth strap. And that one hasn't got a red girth strap, so just slightly variance there. And the figures are usual brown wash as you've seen before. Gold added in abundance wherever it's needed. <laughs> um, on all of the figures from bicorn to the sash to epaulets uh, and cuffs on most of these. I think, yes, these have got the cuffs. Right, so next, I'm planning, planning, planning. I think I may go for the breeches again. That'll be a racky sand, um, an off white, and then a white. And maybe do the gloves in uh, the same time, just leaving them with an off white so they're slightly different color to the breeches. Yep, that's my next. I think that'll be my next. So I'll get that sorted and then come right back to you. Right, we are uh, we've done the blue coats. As you can see, whoop, too high. Blue coats, <laughs> we need told, sitting on the horses. Uh, yep, blue coat, bit of shading. I've just done a wash, I've just added the blue tone wash. Uh, does that show yet? Yeah. Oops, there we go, blue tone wash. Um, so next, I think, um, I'm not sure. There's not too much more to do, is there? A bit of shading on the blue, possibly. I think we're then looking for the, the faces to be done, the flesh. Um, and then there's little bits and pieces like the medals. Um, I think they're wearing this usually black isn't it a black tie in there paint the inside of the boots and I think it's soon gonna be time to uh, stick them on the horses I'll paint the black leather work on the horse and do the horses eyes first though I think so we do that and then we're virtually gonna be gluing the riders on the horses so I'll get that sorted and come back to you right glued the figures on the horses as I've done most of the work now uh, black's done yeah black on the horse black on the boots I've now got the 
finishing touches to do now that glued on the horses uh, which is basically the bike horn, a few buttons, uh, the medals and that's easy to do when they're uh, glued on the necks uh, and then basic touch over uh, I've used a different flesh method I've gone with a, an orange undercoat this time just see what it looks like when it's done slightly different to what I normally use but uh, I'm always chopping and changing with flesh tones. Never happy. And I've been doing this nearly 50 years and I'm constantly changing the, the flesh tones to, uh, to what might suit. Uh, he's not looking too bad, I don't think. Um, so that's with an orange, a flesh, and then uh, a flesh highlight. Uh, but um, I'll get the uh, bits and pieces sorted now. And then I think we're just about going to be done. Uh, obviously the metal work's to be done on the horses. Stirrups, spurs, that sort of thing, and the swords. I'll get those sorted and I'll be back with you. Right, I've uh, just about finished. I won't almost say I'm just about finished, but I have now. Uh, I've got the silver to put on, a little bit of gold on the buttons and the medals, and the white shirt uh, collar that's poking out from underneath their coat um, that's it then I think a little bit of uh, flesh wash on some bits and pieces faces all done hairs done bit of flesh wash and obviously then the white ostrich feathers on the top or plumes on the top I always leave them till last um, oh, but that's where we are now so he did us the last little bits so I'll get those finished and show you those before I start basing. Well, there we go, all prettied up, varnished, etc. etc. Stainer, a little bit of flesh wash on the gold and the red parts, and uh, we're done now, ready for the basing. Just let the uh, stainer varnish dry off and uh, get the basin done and then show you the final figures. Okay, back in a sec. Well, here we are, the final hurdle. They be done. Uh, all finished, all dried, based up nice and pretty looking. Uh, just move them around a bit so you can see them. Yeah, there we go. Uh, we have Campini. Yeah, Campi, sorry, Campini. Uh, we have Friant. And we have Foy. General Foy. Okay, French generals, nothing complicated about them. Um, and they turn out looking satisfactory, I think. Um, yeah, no problems at all. Um, easy enough to do, which is probably why I did the three, as I said, uh, um, yeah, so there we go, I'll uh, put some stills at the end uh, for you guys to look at, but uh, basically that's it, thanks a lot, and uh, bye for now.